Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with a bit of a rainy day video. Well, of course, uh, as you see, we have, uh, well, right in the middle of about a three day rainstorm. And uh, never fails uh, during, news, during the three day rainstorm. That's when uh, people are bored, they're cruising the old internets and uh, checking out classified ads and things like that. And that's when they come across an ad that I posted and then uh, decide that they want to come have a look at it. No, no, it is not the Silverado that's for sale um, yet anyway. Uh, the item that I have uh, listed uh, this time around is my classic 1978 uh, Beachcomber uh, B15 trailer. For those of you that have been watching my videos over the last uh, few years, you'll know the history of the trailer and uh, the condition it's in. Well, pretty much got her listed on the old classified ads. Got some people that are uh, interested in looking at it. They're coming to uh, see what's the what. Hopefully they read the ad properly. And, uh, well, it's all a go. Of course, um, I got to do me some uh, cleaning. Get uh, some stuff from around it because they're probably going to want to walk around it. And uh, if that is uh, the case, then I'll have to fire up the old Silverado and probably move it out where they can get, uh, well, a look at her. I know it's kind of sad to see it go. I know it kind of is the end of a project. However, it is what it is. Financially speaking, economically speaking, to throw that kind of money into this kind of trailer at uh, this point in my life is not economically feasible as well as uh, when it's all said and done, it'll be worth about the price that you've put into it. Now it needs to go to somebody with a Quonset or a very, very large garage or shed that knows what they're doing uh, to tear it apart, get it inside, do the proper work to it, uh, essentially restore it, and then it'll be good to go. So pretty much guys, gonna fire up the old Silverado, give it a move give some straightening around. Probably won't be able to film uh, when they're here, but uh, maybe I can get a shot of it rolling down the street. Of course, uh, went around the trailer, uh, moved a few things, moved uh, the old Silverado out of the way. So if they do decide, uh, well, we can uh, well get that rolling. I got a couple of chunks of plywood I'm going to have to uh, relocate as well. I moved some of the junk piled in the corner here just so they can walk around the trailer. Went inside, made sure everything was uh, out of there that I didn't want to leave in there. Removed a couple of things that weren't, uh, of course, part of the pictures nor part of the sale. So really, and now, it's just the waiting game. I've been out here waiting now about 45 minutes for them to show up. I suppose not everybody is as uh, punctual as I am. You never know, maybe they're just tire kickers as well, just uh, wasting time. I will throw a few photos here of the Beachcomber trailer uh, so you guys can kind of see it. Almost from uh, day one, if you want to say, as well as down in description, I'll put links to the past Beachcomber videos, including the uh, can of worms that I opened up in, I believe it was 2013. So of course we'll get that all uh, going here. You guys enjoy the pictures, enjoy the video links, and uh, well, we'll check on back if the sale goes through. The people were here, they had a look at her. They uh, seen the 
uh, damage to the trailer. They've seen what needs to be fixed. They had a walk around her. Uh, the guy that uh, purchased it or looked at it, uh, he's done two or three of these fiberglass type of trailers in the past, like bowlers and Bigfoots and stuff. He's actually got a buddy with a Airstream trailer, one of those great big beautiful aluminum silver bullet trailers that actually needs a lot of work to it, uh, including a complete interior. And um, well, he uh, bought this one instead of that one. Of course, coming at uh, this time in my life is a little bit bittersweet, letting go of a, a trailer, something that I bought uh, with the intentions of using uh, something that I bought uh, wanting to fix up kind of to its semi-former glory uh, get some more uh, life for use out of it keep it for a lot longer however of course uh, this stage in my life um, it's kind of kind of one of those things that I have to let go well he uh, got the bill of sale he's paid me for it it technically no longer uh, belongs to me it uh, technically belongs to him so he's gonna go get a plate for it and uh, come on back probably tomorrow and pick it on up so of course I've got to scoot it out of there uh, move it to um, probably over here so it's more of a straight uh, back in for him to hook on up and then uh, well it'll be good to go but of course this concludes the uh, well 1978 uh, Beachcomber B15 uh, video series. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a lot more in the series, but hey, um, call it life. Things come and go, things change. Um, you gotta have a, a willingness to realize uh, to let things go uh, when you're semi beat. And uh, well, it is what it is. Of course, thanks for watching all the Beachcomber video series as well as my, all my other videos. All those people have sent me messages on words of encouragement throughout all the years on the Beachcomber video as well as all my other ones. I thank you guys very, very much. Sometimes you got to cut things loose to uh, move forward with other things so in the future you can uh, get back to where you need to be. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.